Fuzzy Bird, welcome back to Plant vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Today, we're taking a look at a super interesting new weekly event, Minion Madness. Invade Turf Takeover as playable minion wildflowers and TV heads. Stick close to your allies to receive a stacking armor bonus. So yeah, we get to actually play as the spawnable plants and zombies and go against each other. So this seems like a lot of fun. I'm really curious to see how it plays out. So let's get started. Whoa, so look at this. We have the wildflower and also the dandelions behind him. So I don't know if we'll be able to do that, but there's upgrades. Whoa, there's upgrades. So this really might be, wow. Okay, so we do know that this is going to be an unlockable character for next month's event. I don't really know what to put in here. We can do combat aura. I'll probably read through some of this soon enough, but I just wanna get into the action. So we're just gonna equip some things and see how it goes. So yeah, we got the swarm here. How does this work? We have wildlife, place your next respawn location with a flower pot, weed out, control a floaty friend when ex who explodes on command, and bloom boom, throw an explosive flower that hurts enemies and knocks them into the air. Wildflowers by themselves may not be pose a huge threat, but as a group, they become overwhelmingly powerful. Wildflowers receive armor when they are near ally wildflowers, pots, or minions. Primary weapon is the dual rapid fire petals. Wow, this is so interesting. So let's sprint over there. We're playing as a wildflower. <laughs> This is sort of like an idea we've been talking about since like Garden Warfare 2. This idea that you know maybe playing as the spawnables would be fun. Oh, and here's a zombie. So like that that's actually a spawnable zombie. Oh my. Um So how do I want to do this? Uh not like that. Because you are actually a player. Oh no, oh no. It's so weird. I'm so used to just like, ah, whatever, it's just a spawnable. It's not a spawnable, that's a player. You know, like that's so weird. Okay, this is probably a bad idea. But hey. Okay, that did some damage, and my friends helped. That's good. Oh my, this guy just spawned in here too. <laughs> Who can I get him? I almost did. Now I did try to put a pot down. I don't know if it worked. This is so fascinating. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure this out right now. I guess the pot didn't work, but there's a lot of people I could like maybe connect up with somehow, like you. How does this work? Um, like you see how you have the little connection there? Oh, I guess that when we're near you, we have more health. That is, once again, so very interesting. So if we all cluster up together, that's what we're gonna wanna do. And beyond that, you know, this is just turf takeover. Wow, okay, I like it. So why do you have the terracotta? Is that maybe just a character upgrade? This is super duper cool. So once again, let's set up a little plant pot. I'm guessing they can destroy those is where it becomes a bit of an issue. They're still spawning in friends, but remember, we're just gonna chill out with everybody. We're at the 35% bonus health right now. That's a spawnable zombie, but definitely if we could get rid of the healers, that works out well. There's another one. And we're getting experience. Yeah, and this is like its own character. So maybe we could get a head start with everything when it comes to, uh... oh man, so fascinating, to this being an unlockable character, because once again, we got confirmation for that um, through the upcoming um, events list. And next month, um, in September, this should be a new playable character along with the TV head. So this is super fascinating. Oh my, run, run, run. We got another Vanquish, we're at a times three Vanquish streak. Doing pretty well in that regard. New queen take on. I think that's just a normal zombie. It's so hard to tell now. <laughs> it's a little bit messy like that. Let's make our way down here. I see you up that way. Did that hit you? Oh, it knocked you up in the air. Once again, super duper fascinating. I think my, my plant immediately exploded there. Where was that attack from? I thought I saw a zombie attack. Maybe not though. Oh my, gotta be careful. And of course we'll play around uh, that guy. Oh, so just like we have the wildflowers, they have the Yeti imps. Gotcha, or we have the uh, dandelions, they have the Yeti imps. So definitely we'll be playing as the TV head zombie in today's episode as well. What I'm curious about is, is if this is gonna be a playable character, how is it gonna stack up against other actual classes? Will we be able to play with it against other classes or maybe this game mode will just be a new game mode we could play at any point in time? I don't know. That's where things get really weird and I guess we'll find out as we go along, but for right now, let's definitely work on this guy a little bit. He's trying to run, but he can't get away. How are we doing with vanquishes? We're up to six vanquishes already. So it's really gonna be worth it to try to play well here, not only because um, it's fun, <laughs> but we can end up getting experience that we can use whenever this character does release, maybe. Anyways, win matches is our first challenge for today, so let's try to do that. <laughs> oh my. Um, definitely, I'll try to launch that stuff over. It does do damage, just not much. Definitely gonna attack you at the feet. So let's get over there and defend this more. Got this guy, got him. 
Apparently I have a times four vanquish streak already. I think most of that must be shared vanquishes. Who was up there? Because there definitely was somebody. Oh, hey now. Oh no, oh, oh, somebody's over this way. Gotcha, teamwork working out. Oh, that didn't quite get you. I need to be careful. Because remember, if I put this pot down, I can revive here if they don't destroy it. This guy doesn't see me, I'm trying to take him out. Nice. We need to team up with our friends. Just like that. I don't know what's with the aura I have going on at the moment. Getting rid of that heal zombie, come on, come on, come on. But we're about to win this. But definitely, we, we hit a lot harder than your average uh, wildflower. At least we attack a little bit more quickly than they do, so. That does make it a bit different. I think we won. <laughs> we'll see. They're trying to come in from somewhere, right? But we have 45% bonus health here just from clustering up. Is my, my, see my pot's not over there, so I guess it only lasts like a limited amount of time. Hi! Oh, we haven't taunted or anything. I should check that out. But yeah, this is really, really cool. I, I can't believe this. This is totally different. So there we go, our first successful round with the Wildflower, and that's gonna get us a challenge done as well. We'll see what the next challenge is in the next round. But yeah, let's get to it. Okay, we're back at Turf Takeover, this time at Goopy Gully, and we're on the zombie side. So um, yeah, we're, once again, I don't wanna spend too much time on this, so we will just do, um, I think com combat, oh, that's the thing. Get increased damage aura for a short time after a vanquish streak of three, and use weapons and abilities j faster just after sprinting. Um, sure, I'm gonna keep to these for now. We'll take a deeper look at them sooner or later, I'm sure. But uh, for right now, wow, let's see what his abilities are. So he has commercial break, place your next respawn location with a bucket, um, Yeti set, go, control fast frozen friend who explodes on command, an overheated dinner, toss an explosively overheated dinner at that hurts enemies and knocks them into the air. So basically the exact same thing as the wildflower. TV heads may be unassuming when they are on their own, but as a group they become overwhelming, po overwhelmingly powerful when they are near ally TV head spots or minions who receive armor. It really is the same exact thing which is interesting. Um, wouldn't have minded if they were maybe a little bit different, but still, this is so cool. So, let's get back out there. We're defending again, and our goal for this challenge is going to be to get 15 vanquishes, which if we can have a repeat of last round, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh, here's a wildflower. Yeah, there must be some kind of character upgrade that gives them a terracotta pot. Okay, I got an assist there. But if we team up with you, might be a good idea. And I can have this guy run out and explode on one of them. If I can find any. Right now, it seems like our teammates are doing a pretty good job. They're all over here. Hello, hello. Boom, I got somebody with it. There's our first vanquish of 15 I need to get. Oh, here you are, here you are. Oh, he wasn't paying attention. Ow, that got me good. Oh no, oh no, I'm on my own here. All right, put the bucket down. So while I respawn here, they're gonna try to destroy the bucket, and they did. So that's where it gets tricky, where it gets really tricky. But yeah, these are gonna be new classes. That also means they're gonna have customizables, right? Are they gonna have legendary hats? Are they gonna have costumes? I would hope so. And that's why I'm a little confused. Is that really gonna be the case? Or maybe are these not gonna be the same type of playable classes we're used to? Oh no. Plant team is winning for right now, which honestly, I don't mind either which way. I just want vanquishes. Cool. Okay, hold on, hold on. We gotta team together. If we're, we team together, we're stronger. Oh, that didn't quite get you. Come on, come on, come on. I got you though, I got you. Oh, but then they get me. This is so much fun though. Like, it's a lot more simple, but honestly, that simplicity breeds a lot of fun. They knocked it out of the park with this. I really hope, it'd be fun if there was just an entire game mode where all you get to do is play as spawnable characters, like, you know, the vase weed or, um, I don't know, the healing zombie, something like that. <laughs> it'd be like a game within a game in Battle for Naperville. That'd be crazy. I don't think they'd go that far though, but who knows. Either way, we almost got into level two. And if we bunch up, it might be for the better. Because they're gonna be popping up any second now. We gotta be ready for it. There's one over here. Throw some damage out at him. That's it. Got that teamwork. Ooh. Because they're gonna be bunched up too, but we just gotta be more bunched up than them, because 60%, 45% armor, health, whatever it is, is really good. That was a good far throw. Oh, and I actually hit somebody. <laughs> the dandelions are flying. Who's over here? Nobody? Somebody? I don't know. So I definitely have not gotten as many vanquishes as I did last round, but there's still time. 
And now they're swarming in. I don't know why everybody left. Maybe more of them got vanquished than they specifically left. Okay. Uh. So now we're way back here. And they're grabbing that point quick. We might want to get a Yeti out there then. There's so many players now. I love his silly little run. <laughs> Come on now. I'm just gonna try to use the element of surprise here. I don't know if I have enough time to even get over there. Come on, come on. Yeah, I damaged him, but not enough to take him out. It honestly doesn't do as much damage as I would think, or hope. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of them. Come on, this guy's out in front of everybody else, which means here's our chance to get him. There is one Vanquish. We're loading really quickly. Ah, oh, but they got me with that. See, why was theirs a one hit takedown? Or was there more than one of them, maybe? No, I think it was just one of them. Why did theirs give me a one hit takedown, but mine did not? Weird. And this is where normally I'm like, oh gosh, this is good for us. We have the old fort. They're gonna have the bunch up inside of the fort where we can just sort of throw a bunch of explosives in there. Maybe not as good of a situation now because they'll be bundled up, which means they have more armor, which means they're harder to defeat. And as a defending team, we should really have, you know, just as good of a reason to bundle up. But so far, we haven't done a good job with that. Definitely get rid of that healing zombie. That does count as a vanquish as well, which is good. Oh no, oh, watch it. Come on, come on, come on. Get this guy, I can't see him. <laughs> the guy I just revived is standing in the way. Destroy that. And this guy, I don't know if he sees me seeing him, but I took him out. Let's tell everybody to stay together. Ah, <laughs> oh, who got me with that? What was that, the dandelion or what? Uh, Dandelion explode, I guess so. Sneaky. Okay, come on, let's keep at it. This is crazy though, I'm having so much fun with this. This is, I wish we had weekly events this crazy every week. You know, obviously, that might be asking too much, but at the same time, that just shows how much I'm enjoying it. Oh my, yeah, get rid of that guy, for sure. Hypno Shroom, can you stop it? See, why is, is theirs a one hit? I gotta try the Yeti again, because apparently mine, either I just didn't do it right, or mine's busted. Oh boy, here we go again. I'm definitely struggling more with the zombies than I am with the plants, but that might just be a circumstance thing. We have to keep going and find out. Hmm, I don't see any, uh, oh, there's a wildflower. Trying to get back up on that roof, because everybody was giving them a hard time on the roof. Oh, I see you. Can I explode a dandelion with a, a yeti imp? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get anybody, really. Not anyone around. Okay, good enough, it did 100 damage. Which, yeah, if, if that happened, that should get me a vanquish. Come on. Yes, there's one. So we're at nine out of 15 vanquishes. I need to attack this guy at the feet. I see you up there. Can you guys stop trying to get on the roof? Oh boy. Um, is there anybody up that way? There was. We're just gonna keep moving. Ah, come on! Get out of here! There's a lot of them right now. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we're not doing too bad. We're holding them back, but the plant team is definitely dominating in terms of vanquishes. They haven't captured any of it, and they still have three minutes to do so. So, I mean, that's plenty of time for them to go like crazy in overtime or something like that, but we'll see. But for right now, they're contesting it a little bit. Let's get in. I know you're in this corner. Catch! Oh, that did damage, but not enough to take him down. Which means if we lob that in, <laughs> that, that was a bad throw. Oh, my aiming could have used some work there, but it could have been worse as well. Let's put the bucket down, because remember, that should have me respawn. So we can go in and play risky, and then be able to respawn right there, theoretically. Let's see. Uh, Come on, it takes a while, but we respawn right here, perfect. Oh, you leave that alone, please. And there are still people on the point. Oh my gosh, get out of here. <laughs> we need to stop them, but we do get a prize bowl. That's nice. Come on, everybody. We just gotta stay together there. Ooh, okay, we got them off the point, that's good. I need three more vanquishes for this challenge. And then we got that done. Yeah, somebody set up the little TV bucket. We'll do the same in just a moment. I see you up there. I need to put an end to that, <laughs> pronto. 
because that just drives me nuts how often they've been doing that. Oh, I see you over here. <laughs> well, he's just enjoying the view. No, no, no. There we go, we got him. He was trying to talk to me. I'm sorry about that, but <laughs> hi. <laughs> you said hello. I'm so sorry, but we gotta play. I gotta get these vanquishes, because if not, they're gonna take this point. Yeah, the guy who keeps getting on the roof is just destroying all of us. I don't know if that got him or not, but I can get you. Or not, maybe, maybe, maybe. Just leave me alone, Dandelion, leave me alone. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's our chance. Because while that guy's getting a lot of vanquishes, what he's not getting, oh, ho, 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 is that. Um, he's not getting the point captured, which looks like they didn't need him anyways, but. Oh, that was a decent throw, getting myself another vanquish. That guy's running away. Oh, don't you dare. Uh, time for the bucket. I want to really eat up a lot of the time here. Because we're all together, at least some of us are. I think they disturbed my bucket. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we got the challenge done, so what's the final challenge gonna be? Uh, yeah, okay, we're way back here. Gain experience, awesome, I would love to gain experience. So 85 so far out of 8,500, so I need to times that by 100 and we'll be there. See, that's a lot of fun. What level are we with? This guy, we're almost level four. Cool, so we could maybe even get these guys up to a full level 10 over time. If you play this game enough, I guess you could master them, but that'd take a lot of time. So much fun though, for sure. Definitely, let me know your thoughts on this game mode if you haven't already. What, which is your favorite, the wildflower or the, the TV head? Okay, just try to be careful. I know he's gonna hop around some of these corners. Oh my. I just need some time here to figure things out. Oh. Let's set up the bucket. I see this guy over here. Damage him down a little bit, not all the way. That's good. Who's on the point? Let's get him off. Because they almost have this. Did I throw that? I guess not. It made the sound effect, but it didn't quite work. They're definitely looking like they're gonna win this one. Which honestly, like once again, is not too big of a deal for me. Either way, I'm gonna be getting vanquishes and experience. Oh, I spawned in. Oh yeah, that's right, my bucket. I was like, well, what's going on with that? Servers are a little laggy right now. We'll just keep on top of it. Oh, nice. The primary weapon's not too bad either. It can be a little wonky at times, but we're figuring it out. Oh, not bad. I see you down there, or up there. Oh, and I hit you with it. Now you gotta be down here with us. Yes, okay, bucket down, quickly. And I got a three vanquish streak, so I guess that means I uh, have that damage aura. Oh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, somebody else got him instead. So I guess I don't have anything here. That was a waste. Yikes. Nobody got me in that time. I feel like I was in a pretty obvious spot. Get that shared vanquish. The weird thing is like, where are they? Okay, there's there's a couple of them. They're all coming in from the roof, it seems. So is this my bucket? I don't know, I think, I think so. Because they're coming in from somewhere, oh my. Trying to team up with this guy. Help each other out. Let's run over here real quick. Oh my, somebody's chasing me down. Now, oh, did I get him with that? I can't tell what's going on. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, we're top anchor show on our team at the least. That's pretty cool. I do think I like the wildflowers a little bit better, but we'll, we'll go for a couple of rounds to really decide that. There we go. And I'm not seeing too much else right around here, because where are the, the flowers at? Oh, this guy's just chilling. Got him. I don't know, well that's sort of the, where it gets weird. I don't think that was a playable character. I think that was a spawn of a weed, because it said so-and-so's plant. That's where it's weird. <laughs> that's where it's super weird. Bucket, did I put the bucket down? I don't think I did. I mean, he would've destroyed it anyways. Yeah, he put down his own bucket now. Okay, let's respawn real quick. And while we're back here, I do want to take a look. Are there any taunts? There are no gestures available for this character. Darn. Oh yeah, that's right, I already had a bucket. Oh my. Okay, that was right on top of him, very nice. No, 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 let me put my bucket down. Ah, oh, that was a bad idea, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, because he's just gonna destroy it. But hey, not too bad. They're struggling to get too much done with this drill at the moment. 
Well, he's got to keep defending it. We'll run out there with the team. Try to find a good spot to hide so that maybe I can get myself a, uh, a Yeti takedown. I do see you way down that way. Okay, so I might sneak around. I think here's a good spot. Try to get that Yeti takedown. Like I said, oh, you don't even see. You don't even know. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. And there was a dandelion over this way. And there still is. Oh, there's two of them now. And I totally, totally missed. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. Oh, he's running, he's running. Oh no, come on team, get him. Good job, good job, good job. Put down a bucket, and then we're just gonna run back up. Probably somebody's gonna destroy that bucket. Ah! <laughs> oh, we got the double with that too, good moves. They are still working on that drill though. What's the drill percentage at? It's at 13%, so they aren't looking so good. We have two minutes to defend that. I don't think it's gonna happen. Come on, can we get this guy? Super low on health, but not enough to take him down all the way. I saw him running around with the dandelion, so I'm just trying to take that out while I have the chance. I think they're about to come around the corner, maybe. Oh, they were. Good timing. Excellent. Now you, over here. Uh, I was trying to spawn in a zombie bot to get myself some extra armor. Didn't quite work that way. Gotcha. Got the times three vanquish streak, but it's at zero percent. So you know what? Let's just go in and get what vanquish as we can because the round's over. It's done, it's finished. I don't know if that counted. Either way, not too bad of a round. Win or lose, we still got some good challenges progressed and that means we just gotta get some more experience in the next round. Okay, so now we're back here with the uh, dandelions. So, or, or wildflowers. I just wanna call them dandelions, but that's what we spawn in um, with the weed out ability. We're level three, and our goal is just to get the remaining 5,000 experience. That actually might not be too bad, depending on how all this round goes. It looks like I'm joining a little bit late. What was weird is at the end of last round, the game crashed on me as we were trying to, you know, spawn into or like load the next round. So, that is something to keep in mind. Don't know what was going on with that. Oh gosh, there's a Yeti coming in. A Yeti imp. Okay, no, it just, it, it's gone. Everybody's hanging out, which is great. I, I hope they're having fun, but let's work on destroying as much as we can here. Oh boy, that guy's jumping around a lot. So you can even make it so that your dandelions and your yetis have some extra health. And that's something I think I'll look at soon is just like the potential upgrades. But at the same time, mostly just interested in playing for right now. Come on, can we get ya? Oh, almost got it. There it is, there it is. Back it up, back it up. Oh, but I was around the corner there. That was a little weird. Hopefully they'll revive me. Uh, it would be good if they could. Oh yeah, here I go, here I go. Awesome. Dude, this is so much fun. This is a really cool weekly event, and I hope that it's something that pops up again in the future. Just, it'd be fun to play another time. Oh, you're in trouble, mister. You're in trouble, and so is your friend, maybe. Come on. Oh. Almost got him there. I'm gonna set up the bucket. Gonna keep attacking your friends here, but I think that now is a good time to send in the dandelion. Ow, no it wasn't. <laughs> Watch out for this guy. Come on, we can take him out, we can take him out. Work as a team, work as a team. There we go. Up to 4,000 experience now. And definitely let's, once again, collaborate. All come together. But that's where the duality of it comes in. You know, we're all Bunch together like this makes us more defensive, but it also makes us more vulnerable to like, you know, getting hit with a, like a group attack with the R1 ability. Doesn't look like they're gonna be able to stop us. We have 60% armor right now. That's great. But even like the Yeti Imp getting sent in could be a big problem. I can't see too much. There's too many people attacking. Ooh, I'm just gonna lob that hopefully over the rock. I did, but maybe a little too far. Okay, let's keep it going. This guy doesn't see me. So I'm trying to take him out. I don't know what he's trying to get done. Got him. And I think I saw somebody who was not playing over here. Got him. Okay. It's so nice seeing the water though. I, I, I see what you were looking at. <laughs> All right, let's keep it going. Because over here we have our second storm machine. Was that guy playing? He was. We can take him out real easy. There it is. And his friend over this way. Time to spawn in some extra help, if we can manage. Level five achieved, and we got that damage aura going on for getting, I think, a three vanquish streak. I don't know if that lasts forever or not. 
Or at least until we get vanquished. No, okay, just ended. So I'll have to get another triple vanquish streak. Hopefully that won't be too bad. I don't see anybody around. Just we're gonna set up the bucket and then also the dandelion. And see who we might be able to sneak up on. Because the timer for this, honestly, is really, really quick. Ah, oh, so close. So close. There must be an upgrade that makes it so that the dandelion and the Yeti run a little faster. I would hope. But that is definitely something we'll take a better look at sooner or later. Now I see all of these guys over there doing some good damage to him. There's one. There's this guy way down this way. Apparently none of my shots are landing. Oh my gosh. There we go, and the storm machine is ours. Couldn't have gone better. Oh, <laughs> he is jumping around everywhere. But we got it. How are how is our vanquishes? We're 13 vanquishes in top vanquisher of the round right now. Very cool. Don't go that way. Now I actually want to change my bucket because right now the bucket's not in a good spot. I'd spawn farther back than what I'd normally would. But hey, good opportunity to spawn in some friends. Maybe even set up the bucket like right here. A little bit of a sneaky spot, I guess. Not really. <laughs> okay. Where are the TV heads at? I haven't seen any just yet. Oh, here's one guy. I'm gonna get you. Maybe I won't. Once again, I did not have enough time. I really gotta get more comfortable with how much time we have to send that guy out and how not so quick it is. I do see that guy over there. But we're already pushing this over. Could we go for a quick win right now? Stay bunched up. And it doesn't look like there's any AI teammates. I wonder how that works. So if we just keep it here for a long time, we win. It sort of works like a payload, but also a little bit different. Oh, that was good. Let's revive quick. Oh no, that was a mistake. <laughs> That's fine though. Yeah, we're not top vanquisher anymore. I haven't been doing too well the last couple of minutes, but that's okay. I'm just glad that we're making progress one way or another. We might be able to get the experience we need, but this round went by so fast that we might just have to worry about it more in the next round as well. Go, go, go. And we're still about to win this. It's about to become sunny. This will only be the second time ever I've seen the plants win this. Quite uncommon. Oh my, there's more over here than I expected. Let's run. Maybe destroy that bucket too. Nope, too late, too late. Oh, they're gonna find me. That was just unfortunate. And we won, okay, that was it. Super quick round, we'll go for one more today and we'll see if we can't get another one. But for right now, I'll, I'll watch it since we haven't seen. Where's that sunflower and soldier coming from? They weren't in the round at all. Very fishy. Well, there we go. The plants win this one. So we got two wins and one loss so far. Hopefully we can go for three wins in the next episode. Or not the uh, next round. <laughs> It'll still be this episode. Where are those dandelions over there going? They're floating away. All right, though, very good round. All right, so here we are as the zombies. We'll just try to get another win here. We're all grouped up. I think we can do it. At the least, I should be able to get 2,000 experience, I'd think. We definitely got like three or 4,000 in the last round and that one went by so fast. So I can only imagine more of the same here. We definitely do better with the plants than we do the zombies. I'd love to hear which one you prefer so far. Okay. There's actually quite a lot of plants over here. There we go, there's our first vanquish. We can get that guy a little bit. And, I don't see anybody around, for now. Here we go, hey! <laughs> I got rid of your plant pot the moment you spawned it, I'm so sorry. A little rude of me, was well, what we had to do. But that's where it can be a bit of an issue, you know, going out here and playing it risky like this could end up biting me in the butt simply because I don't have any teammates around that help me defensively. And they might. Let's see, if I put a bucket here, will they notice it? That guy almost noticed me, but then he ran away. Oh my, I might need to run. I might need to run. Team up with everybody. Okay, my bucket's still there, but it wasn't really set up in the way I wanted it to. I wanted to be more in the center of this thing. Mm, toss it over. Didn't quite get them. Okay, but we got it. Once again, super duper easy. Oh my, gotcha. 
Only a thousand experience to go. I see you running away. But here comes his friend. Gotcha. We're doing great right now. This is fine. And the more people we spawn in to help out, the more of a defense we end up getting. That's why it's very, very worth it to do. I see this guy up here. Only a little bit though. Okay, what do you think you're doing? That might actually have been an AI wildflower player. I'll we'll have to see. Oh, couldn't quite knock him out, but we, we got him sent away. Definitely work on that. P Gatling. Oh, gotcha. Back it up a little bit. Set up the bucket right here. Perfect spot for it. That way we can just really keep hammering on him. I'm starting to heal, so if I could play it safe up until uh, we're all healed up, that'd be great. See, where is he gonna run to? Oh no, the windmill ruined it. <laughs> Darn, see that's just uh, an AI, AI wildflower player. Oh, that hurt a little bit. Maybe now's a good time for the Yeti. Maybe not though, because they're not really on the point at all. Are you gonna hop down? I don't think so. I don't think I can get up there in time. Uh, no, there's nobody around. So definitely finding the right timing for the, the Yeti and the, and the uh, dandelion is something I've been struggling with a little bit, but I'm sure we'll figure it out more over time. But once again, our team is dominating them. So it must just be like, you know, a certain player basing where we're just, we're, 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 we're getting a lucky team. Oh my gosh, that's a big bundle of them. Come on, we gotta meet them where they're at. All gotta team up together as well. There we go, very nice. As long as we keep teamed up like this, we're gonna be fine. Okay, beat him up a little bit. Keep it grouped up though. And you can tell who's actually getting armor by the little thing around us. Let's set up our bucket. And it, oh my, oh my. Might be a good time for the Yeti. Let's give it a try. Actually, I don't see any dandelions around here anymore. <laughs> Come on, capture this point then. Hi, there we go. I did 125 damage that time. So maybe the last time I tried it, it was just the person was shielded too much. Hmm, launch that over there, just like they did to us. Attack! Actually, stay where we are. Don't move forward. We want to stay here so that we can capture the point. Level eight achieved. Wow, we almost got these guys level 10. That's crazy. I don't know if we'd be even able to promote them. Come on, come on. Let's toss that down like that. I'll see if I can't get level 10 in this round. I mean, it's possible. The Gargantua are pushing might be a bit of an interesting scenario. But there we go. So I'm sure there's still gonna be a couple trying to head out here. Yep, we got this guy right here. Oh no, I gotta reload. Oh no, oh, they might actually get me here. I'd rather they not. <laughs> oh, I got him. Oh, it's very laggy. Oh, it's so laggy. It's always, it always gets that way right at the moment I need it not to. So a lot of them are still spawning in from back over here, but not all of them. Gotcha. Because what are we at? We are almost at level nine. Can you not? Come on, I can get him, I can get him. There we go. Ah, I just want to be able to get down there, but they're all, because I guess of the buckets and stuff. Um, we don't want to waste too much time here. We only have so much time to push these gargantuars. But if they're all distracted here, that also means they're not defending. So it's a bit of a 50-50. Like, what is this guy doing? Who knows? Did he just disappear? I guess. Oh, let's definitely spawn in a friend while I have the chance. Oh my, that is a lot of them. There we go, very good. And you down there, that's another Vanquish. And this guy. Awesome, we're doing good. We're almost level nine. So I'm definitely gonna set up my bucket like right here and hope that nobody notices it. I mean, they're very easy to notice once you see them, but if nobody's looking for it, it can definitely be sort of ran past quite easily. Let's toss that up there. And it actually hit somebody for 75 damage. It's quite a lot. Gonna reload real fast. But there we go, our first Gargantua. Actually, is that the second? That's the second. 
Wow, go team. They're all trying to keep to the high ground, which isn't so good for us. Let's see if I can't get the Yeti to do anything. Oh no, he's not gonna make that jump. He's, he doesn't have those kind of hops. Oh no, they're chasing me now. If we stick with everybody, we should be fine. I don't see any more though. Oh, this guy's in trouble, but in enough trouble. Yes, <laughs> plenty of trouble. And this might get me in trouble a little bit, <laughs> but I'm gonna give it a go. There we go. Uh, awesome. I'm going to run back this way and set up my bucket here and see if they find it. I'm not seeing too many more. There's a dandelion. Because they are, they're all keeping up there. Oh, except for you. I'm gonna get you. Maybe, I hope. Where'd you go? You're fast. Don't you, oh my gosh. You're kidding. Smart move by him though. What he doesn't know is I'm about to respond with the don't destroy the bucket, don't destroy the bucket, don't destroy. Oh, 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 gotcha. Level nine achieved now. So can we get to level 10 in this short amount of time? I don't think so, but I'll certainly try. So the best way to do that would definitely be to, oh, they destroyed that Gargantuar, what do you know? Uh, it would definitely be to get up this way and give him as hard of a time as possible. Where is he gonna come in at? Ah, oh, darn. I gotta expect that more often. <laughs> I, I really just don't most of the time. I mean, we get 50 experience for the Gargantuar bomb exploding. What are you doing? There we go, destroy this quick. Excellent. I don't know if we get any experience for that. I wish we did. Hmm. So where are they now? Not around here. We still have three minutes and 20 seconds. That's a lot of time. Ah, oh, somebody got me with the dandelion. They're all up there too. And I did not put a bucket down this time, so gonna have to start from way back here again. But so far, it looks like we're gonna get this done because both of those gargantuars are slowly, you know, pushing in. Somebody got taken out over here, though. What happened? More than happy to revive you, but you're gone. And once again, they're all bundled up over there. Time for the bucket. Oh, I hit somebody with something. This guy way in the back. Very low on health. They are really going at this gargantuar though. But the longer they're going at this one, the longer they're not going at the other one. That was an awful throw. I don't know what the odds of this happening are, because it looks like some of the other guys have the same idea. Oh, but we won. All right, all right. Well, maybe we can get a little bit more. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> one last vanquish for the road. Not too bad. So we got pretty close to level 10 with both of them. And if these are new unlockable characters, hopefully we can indeed unlock them in the next month's event and really just go at them a little bit more. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. But yeah, for right now, there was four action pack rounds as both the Wildflower and the TV Head Zombie. So there was our look at the Minion Madness weekly event and hopefully a quick sneak peek at some of those upcoming playable characters. I am really looking forward to playing them more. So hopefully that really is the case. I had so much fun. We have six prize bulbs as well. So we'll take a look at the prize map to see if there's anything more we can unlock. I'm sure there is. Oh, I guess we already have some things unlocked here like Boomtown. We have that gesture already. Weird. Um, but back over this way, we have the one-eyed tiger topper hat for the 80s action here, which is pretty um, topical because that's what we're gonna be showcasing next episode is the um, 80s action hero challenges. So stay tuned for that. Also wanna take one click look at um, Rux to see if he has anything and he doesn't. So yeah, with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plans for Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.